Okay, we're gonna do the uh, uh, exhaust side now. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, there are three, uh, these two lobes were at 11 and 15 thousandths clearance, which is uh, which is a good good numbers on these. And then this one was at eight thousandths and this one was at 15 thousandths. So this one is too tight. And then these two are at nine and eight thousandths. So these two are too tight. So this one, this one, and this one, or actually uh, this one and this one, and that one is too tight. The two down on here in the end are at 14 and 15 thousandths. So those two are good. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, take this uh, one off. So again, we have the, the chiming chain is off and uh, the pistons are down a little bit so that I can rotate the camshaft. And we're gonna break these loose in the order that it says. So you break them loose. Here's one and two. And um, then it's a uh, three and four and I'm sorry, five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then um, eleven and twelve. And this one is uh, the dot is pointed up in line with here, so that's the way you want to unloosen it. And it is looking like the pressure of the cams are actually on this one, these two right here. The most of the pressure is right here on this side. So again, this end has got a lot of pressure on it. So I'm just gonna go like a quarter turn, each one, and slowly just loosen it up. <laughs> So these two and this one, these three are the ones that need to work. So let's see here. Hopefully I can do this without screwing it up again. Maybe I can get it in one try. Get my magnet. This is a good size magnet. That's just about, uh, you know, almost an inch diameter magnet. It's got lots of power on it. Sometimes these things stick pretty good. Let's start with this one. That one. This one says 182 on it. So it's easy to read the new ones I got. You can't read them. I don't know too much about these uh, hot cams ones. So that one is saying it's 71. 71 thousandths. And I want to increase it. And basically I just need to go up like three or four thousandths to be in range. So, okay, this one um, is reading 74. So that one should do it. Right, if I, because I'm, let me just think about this, because I got a uh, 8 thousandths clearance. No, I'm tightening it up by adding, going up on the number. I'm tightening it up, so that I'm getting ready to screw that one up. Uh, I want to go down on the number, because uh, the space is too small. So if I add a thicker one, it's going to, the space is going to get even smaller. So I just about screwed that up. So this one is a no good. And that's at eight. So this is down three thousandths. This should bring it up to eleven thousandths. This one. So that is the that one should be right. That one's three thousandths smaller. Okay, and let's try this one. Same thing I want to do with these. Is go skinnier. So this one is saying again right at seventy one. So. That one, well, that's a nine. Actually, I think I want to put this one here. Let me leave that one right there. I think, because uh, that one is a nine. So this one is going to put me around 14 thousandths or so. It's getting close, but I'm kind of running out of those. That's, it seems like every one of them has the same amount off because... Um, 
you know, we lapped the valves, right? I mean, I took everything apart and we lapped all the valves after we uh, replaced, you know, put new valves in. So they got, a, they're a little bit different. So ooh, that's a big one there. Seventy one again. Seventy one again. This one's down three thousand. She should put me around eleven. Okay. I guess that's it. All right. Let's see here. Get some of my ultra slick assembly lube. This actually, I think, calls for Isoflex grease on these, but I don't have any. And I think actually I do have some. I was using it with my doing superchargers. I do got some of them, but this stuff works too. That's fine. Um, anyways, there we go. Let's try that. Funny story about this motor here. So the customer bought this boat. It's a single engine Yamaha. Um, it's the it's a 190. I think they call it a AR190 or something like that. And um, he bought it brand new in 2015. Used it that season. Then he took it to a place and had it stored inside. And... Um, you know, heated storage. So he left the keys with it and everything, you know, and it was in a heated storage and he left it there for three years. He didn't use it for three years. He came back in, uh, 20, this, you know, COVID 20, you know, the summer of 2020 to use it because, you know, there was nothing else to do. So he gets it out of storage and it is, uh, the engine's locked up and it won't start. And so he takes it to a mechanic and the mechanic, um, uh, says that the engine is uh, locked up in that it, it's got water in the engine. And the guy's like, what are you talking about? You know, how can I have water in the engine? And, you know, he was using it when he brought it in. And uh, said, I don't know, but there's rust on the spark plugs and, you know, the engine is definitely locked up. And so uh, the guy tried to do an insurance claim on it. And the insurance company wanted to know a date, you know. And he's like, well, I don't, I don't know a date when it happened. He said it was in storage. And um, so, anyways, he went through all kinds of trouble trying to get the insurance company to, to uh, insure it. They refused because he said that it must have been stolen. Or basically, probably what happened is some of the people at the storage unit, some of the workers, noticed the keys in there and were like, hey, no one's used this boat, you know. So let's take it out and have some fun with it this weekend. And, and they, they, were, they were, weren't that smart of guys. And they, they, uh, I'm sure they were just some rummies there working. And they uh, didn't put the drain plug in it. The drain plug's way far underneath on this hall. It's really hard to see. you got to get right down on your knees and then bend way over to see it in there. And so I'm pretty sure what happened is they took it for a joy ride. And then they sink it. And, um, and then, of course, they don't do nothing about it. And they just put it back, right? Because they don't want to get in any trouble, obviously. And, um, uh, so the guy comes around a couple of years later, cause this was rusted good. I mean, it definitely wasn't from this year or last. It was, you know, the kind of rust that you see from something that was setting for a long time of water. And, um, so we had to bore this thing 30 over because how much rust was in the cylinders, you know, I couldn't get them to clean out. Uh, it's, uh, you know, 10 or 20 thousandths over. So we had to take it all the way out. So, um, but, uh, yeah, so it was a real mess. But, yeah, so someone at the storage unit. So moral of the story is, you know, if you're having your boat in heated storage and, and you're not going to pick it up for a while, be sure not to leave the keys, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Don't leave the keys. So uh, 
that's what happened. The guy left the keys and some rum dums, took it out and sunk the boat, and he is out the whole repair. And this repair is going to run him close to, I think it's close to $6,000 for this. So he's, uh, you know, he's a real nice guy. He must have the money because he isn't crying too much about it. But, um, uh, but yeah, he got, he got really, he got really robbed there. All right, so let's check that out and see what we come up with here. Hopefully I got it this time. Feels like I got that one. Yeah, that one's at 14 now. So that one's on the money. One down. Oh yeah, that one's uh an eleven. That's a twelve. Yeah, we got that one. So we got that 14 and 12. Okay, great. So that'll work. That's a work. This one's 11, 15, 11, 15, 14, 12, 15, and 14. So those will work. So they're in, in spec. So now for the torquing. Looks like the torque spec on these are 16 Newton meters or 11.8 foot pounds. So I'm going to grab my Newton meter torque wrench. Newton meter gauge. So that's 10. 15, 16. Okay. Okay, got that one lined up. Let me come back just a tiny bit. And that one lined up. So now I need the engine at top dead center on number on number one right here. I can get around the valves. I might have to rotate the valve <laughs> to get the um, cylinder to turn. Right about there, it's top dead center. Right there, top dead center. 